Well, um, I'm back in Covington, Georgia today. Obviously, we've seen this a few times, even here recently. This is the town I always talk about because they film so many things here. Dukes of Hazzard, Vampire Diaries, In the Heat of the Night. I just did Friday the 13th. At any rate, I'm not here to talk about that, but that movie got me thinking, I guess you could say. You've probably already noticed that the title of this video is the filming locations for Halloween 2, but we're talking about the Rob Zombie version. There's been 11 Halloween movies and their canon, the order at which they all appear, is really crazy. This video, I am in Covington, Georgia, and we're going to be looking at the filming locations for the 2009 Rob Zombie remake of Halloween 2. And if you couldn't tell by the fog up here on the screen and everything else, it's raining on me today, unfortunately. Right now, here in Covington, uh, they're actually shooting a uh, TV show. That's why they have the detour sign up. They're shooting a show called Flotus, First Lady of the United States. They're actively shooting it right now here in Covington. So they have areas blocked off, sidewalks are closed, and you have to detour. Just different stuff going on. Now, as far as continuity goes with the 11 videos, because it's very strange and it's very, it can be confusing. So, in 78, he released Halloween. Well then, in 81, Halloween 2 came out. The very next year, Halloween 3 came out and it was just, it bombed. I mean, it was horrible. Well, they went on to release a Halloween 4, 5, 6, then Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection in the early 2000s. And then in 2007, Rob Zombie was handed the keys and he kind of rebooted it. In, in 07, he released Halloween. And then in 2009, he released Halloween 2, which is the, the video, the, the locations we're going to be looking at today. But it still wasn't over yet. In 2018, another Halloween, just titled Halloween, was released. But it is supposed to go back and take the place of like Halloween 2. So it's very confusing. And a lot of people would tell you that the real story is Halloween 1978 and then Halloween 2018. Everything else kind of starts its own timeline. And the Rob Zombie Halloween movies are standalone. They are off by themselves. They do not fit in to the original Halloween movies, even though they're titled the same, they have the same killer and some of the same characters. It's, it's very confusing. It really is. I have enjoyed a lot of them. And it just so happened that Rob Zombie came here to Georgia to film his Halloween 2. The movie Halloween 2 starts out right where Rob Zombie's original Halloween ended. It picks up where you can see Lori walking down the sidewalk right here in front of the Covington Courthouse. Come on, rain, cooperate. But as Lori walks down the sidewalk there, in the foreground of that shot, you can see this Confederate monument here in front of us, you can see it in the shot, plain as day. After passing by the courthouse, the next shot, the camera is looking down this road here. You can see that black metal staircase there on the left and they're on that building where the staircase is, that two-toned awning, it's exactly the same as it was in the movie. The next shot, the camera is looking up the road this way, 
and it looks like they may have even had the camera down low they could have possibly even had it sitting on the ground it was so low but just over the top of the ground over the hill you can see the clock tower on the top of the courthouse it's illuminated in the night sky it's a really cool shot this is the spot where Sheriff Brackett pulls up behind Lori he has his police lights on Sheriff Brackett and Lori are speaking and as the camera is cutting back and forth you can see this house which they had decorated for Halloween at the time but you can definitely notice those pillars right there on the front of the house they can clearly be seen in those shots Lori? now later in the movie there's a scene that was filmed here where Lori walks up the sidewalk and she looks into the window at the display of Dr. Loomis' book. That was shot right here at these buildings. Just, just do me that favor, please. Aaron. Another thing that you can notice is these triangle sections up here above the doors. Those are very clearly, those are clearly seen in the movie as well. Now, that's pretty much it for what they filmed here in downtown Covington, or the Covington Square here. Um, except for a, a time lapse they filmed of the traffic. And then they filmed a few scenes where the guy was dressed up as Frankenstein's monster. That was it. Everything else is away from the square. You guys like Frankenstein? Yeah. Who likes popcorn? Now, we are out on this lonely, lonely road outside of Covington. And they actually shot several scenes out here on this road. Uh, for one, when the coroner van is driving down the road and it hits the cow, they shot that right here on this road, and that's when we get our first look at Michael Myers in this movie. You're like, cow! What? Cow! No! Help me! Later on in that scene, as Michael walks over to the woman who's dressed up in all white and she has the white horse, um, if you look behind them, you can see the electrical posts, the, the power line poles. You can see those behind them in that shot as well. Another location that is here on this road is Michael Myers' barn. This barn still looks exactly like it did in the movie. It is really crazy and it's... It, it looks so run down in the movie and it was filmed so many years ago now that it's really crazy that it's still standing to this day. But this was, this was his barn right here. Further down the road, right here on this corner, they built, just for the movie, they put up a billboard that had an advertisement on it for Dr. Loomis' book. And it actually makes its way into the movie several times. He's still out there. Right here at Piedmont Newton Hospital, we're still in the Covington, Georgia area. This is where they filmed all of the interior hospital scenes. So where uh, Lori's in the hospital and Michael Myers comes in. He even kills Octavia Spencer. 
the uh, she's a real funny actress. She's from my hometown of Montgomery. He kills her behind a nurse's station in there, and it they it doesn't appear that they have even repainted this hospital since they filmed the movie here. The exterior scenes of the hospital were not filmed at the hospital. Actually, they were filmed right here at Alcovey High School, right outside of Covington. For these exterior hospital scenes, we have come back behind the school building. And in this little area right here is the small parking lot. This is where they filmed all of those scenes. Now, in the movie, it was raining, and I'm not sure if it was really raining when they filmed, or if the rain was artificial. Maybe they had a truck spraying it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But uh, this is where the parking lot right here that Lori runs across. is our next location. Coming up right here beside us is the home that was used for filming. This was Sheriff Brackett's home in Halloween 2. Now, they show this house several times throughout the movie. You can see Lori, she comes out of the driveway I'm... And then you can even see her driving down this very same road right here. Inside of this old Civil War home now, it's actually a bed and breakfast. But uh, inside of this building is where they filmed all of the scenes where Lori is talking to her therapist. They did not show any exterior shots. It was all interior, but all of that, all of those scenes were filmed inside of this building. Now, I've stopped here at this empty building out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere, as much of these locations are. In Halloween 2, this building was the strip club that was called the Rabbit in the Red Lounge. Now, as you can tell, the exteriors of this building still look exactly the same. Now, coming around behind the building, there was a scene back here where the guy walks out of the back door and th there was a giant gas tank, which is no longer there. I'm fucking hot. I'm fucking hot. I'm doing all the chores. There's the building over in the distance there that has that ramp out front. You can see that in the movie. They film scenes where Dr. Loomis is promoting his book and he's in a conference room. Those scenes were filmed right here inside of the Intercontinental Hotel Buckhead. Everybody in there has been completely briefed. Okay, now, everybody in there has been completely briefed. Journalists, cool and positive, all in the same sentence without throwing up. Yes, why is that a problem? Journalists, cool and positive, all in the same sentence without throwing up. Yes, why is that a problem? For this location, we have come a little bit a ways away from Covington, Georgia. We are actually in an old Civil War town that's called Madison. It's really pretty here, but the Madison Courthouse, which is this building here, this was the police department, the Haddonfield Police Department in 
Halloween 2. Also in Madison, this building here, the Madison Markets Antiques. Uh, in Halloween 2, this was called Uncle Meat's Java Hole, and it had this really crazy painting all over the front of the building uh, with smoke coming out of a coffee cup. They filmed all those scenes, including the interiors, right here in this building. This road here in this residential neighborhood, um, they filmed a scene here. It was just a small, short clip of Michael walking and they filmed it low again so they had the camera down real low but you can see Michael walking like up the road towards us coming this direction and you can see that white house back there at the end of the road behind him uh, they filmed it at night so that it was all lit up but you can see that house still looks exactly the same this is the shot they filmed him coming right up the road here Now, this house right here beside us, uh, it, it looks a lot different than what it did when they filmed Halloween 2. It's had some major upgrades. In the movie, uh, they even, they start off showing you a close-up of the door and there's trick-or-treaters. And you, in that close-up, you can read that it says 2146. That's the address of the house. And it's the real address of the house. Current day, presently, that is gone. Uh, they also changed the fence out here in front of the house. And right out here on the sidewalk, right in front of this house, this is the spot where the little kid asked Michael if he's a giant and... Uh, if they want to be friends. Are you a giant? Can we be friends? If you have seen Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, then this may look familiar to you, especially if I turn the camera a little bit. This is where they filmed the Phantom Jam. All of this area out here was all in the movie. The newborn water tower up there. There she is. She's a beauty. She is, isn't she? These grain silos. Fireplace that went about its business. And then even this building here with the uh, awning they were just having one giant party out here and they filmed all of those scenes right here in the spot fireplace and went about its business and that brings us back to covington georgia for the final location from this movie i am of course referring to the myers home Directly across the street from us, this was the Myers house in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Now, it has obviously changed a little bit in the last decade. The fence was an old chain link fence that was broken and all torn up. And you don't really get to see a whole lot of the house in the movie. They did a scene where Dr. Loomis was standing out here in front of it but pretty much it still looks exactly the same so dr loomis tell me how long do you plan on staying in uh, town please sam oh. <laughs> thank you well I, I could stay a few extra days. man it's really cool to see you know this the home still standing and everything still looks the same um, that's going to do it for this video today i want to thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it if you're new here go down and click the subscribe button Take it a step further, hit that notification bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. If you want to help support the channel, check out the links in the description box below. It's always much appreciated and it helps us keep making videos like this. Thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. Please, all of you, stay safe and stay healthy. I love you all.